surely we will no longer make any dummy decisions. <laughs> Protect me, box of glory. What's happening right now? Guys, let's play some troll out. Mario escapes prison by Wilfred's levels always have the craziest themes. Oh, he says, I don't know what these titles even are anymore. Revision eight. All right, let's do it. Mm. There were like two blocks under that, it looked like. Okay. Okay, so far, this is just a happy little SMB3 level. Hello? Anybody home? Oh! A fish broke those! I didn't even notice. Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna go... That's probably bad for me. We probably needed that. 42069 IQ play. I think we need the dry bones to put so many wonderful shinies just for me. Why does that keep happening? How do I not die to that? Uh, I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't think so. I think I need to have the shell and I need the ground pound right there. Hmm. How can we keep that? Okay, here's the plan jump out and make this fall down. Oh, wait, 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 That's why this is... Oh! Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Come back! <laughs> Come back! What the heck was that? Uh, what was that? How was I supposed to get the mushroom? This is new troll music, I like it. How was I supposed to get the mage room? How do I... How would I activate this differently? How do I... Oh! Very smart. Oh, any of them do it. Literally pound any of them. Oh! Except that one. Okay, okay. Maybe I needed to lose this, actually. No, I didn't. Oh, is this gonna not... <laughs> it does indeed not do what I wanted it to do. Uh, I think I do it like that. Yeah. Okay, now we're small. No more mushroom. Oh, do I want that? I don't think I want that, right? Do I want that? Oh, I can go through here. Oh, we just... <laughs> I'm stuck! Oh, I thought I was big braining my way to victory. Now we're just dancing. At least we're doing the Mario Lava dance right now. That's all I really want out of life. Surely we will no longer make any dummy decisions. Oh, I. <laughs> Why do I speak? I don't want the mushroom, and we have to go up here, I think. Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> Uh-oh! Uh-oh, he's coming, he's coming! He's coming! <laughs> okay, I think I go through here and then I go up here. Or I just wait here? Oh, I just wait here, never mind. Never mind, I just wait. Oh, clearly intended. Clearly the right path is in this pipe from the bottom. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's go. I probably had to ditch my dry bone shell because that's, oh! Okay, that was like, the meta play would have been to ditch the dry bone shell, so that was like a reverse meta play that I spaghettied my way into because I wasn't paying attention. I don't trust. I, just, I got so afraid. I thought I thought that the wall on the right was gonna bust open, and that the troll was gonna be that you don't actually have to jump up there, and then nothing happened, and I panicked. All right, I'm pretty sure I actually go up there then. We found the troll! <laughs> I've been really trying to think about what is it that makes a good troll level um, when trying to make my own troll level that I'm working on right now. I feel like subverting expectations is definitely the big point. All right. But it's like, it's weird because if you subvert, if you subvert someone's expectations but you just kill them, it's not perfect, I don't think. Like there's an element of humor and comedic timing that goes into troll levels that I think the good creators 
are really, really, really good at, and it's interesting. Uh, OBS Eve, thank you so much for the four months. Kind Banana, thank you as well. Rebel Boy, thank you. Pat Conley, thank you for the 42 months. Coasty, thank you. Say Coasty64, thank you for the sub. And Sonic Racer, thank you for the 100 bits. I don't know what's gonna happen. It's probably gonna die. It's probably a spike ball. But I'm gonna be a brave boy! Brave boy! Brave boy? What? What? Wait, what? Wait, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Where did you come? Get out of here! Get out of here with that! Get out of here with that! Oh! Oh! Benevolent level creator! Benevolent level creator! Do I just rush into this door? Or do I jump over that? Yeah, that's how I do it. I jump over that one. Yes! CP1 with no, absolutely no hint or indication of a return to CP1. None whatsoever. <laughs> Why, hello there. I'm gonna go over here. Yeah. Do I want this? I just grabbed the spring. I didn't even mean to grab the spring. I don't know if I'm doing smart. Ah! I'm scared. I'm scared. What's gonna happen when I hit it? I'm scared. Ah! I think I actually stay under it. Yeah, I think I, wow. Oh my gosh. That was tricky. I think I actually stay under it. Does this P-Switch even do anything, or is it just a- I think the P-Switch is just a distraction. I don't actually need this, right? Okay, I think we brave boy the shit out of this. Yeah, whoa! Whoa! Oh! Hi, friend. <laughs> I fell right into the shiny trap. Whenever I'm thinking about anything and not paying attention, I just instinctually gather shinies. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, if we had shot one more time, it would have hit the cannon down. It would have broken this block and hit the cannon down. Or there's a 420-69 IQ play. And you're actually supposed to hit it! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no! That lowered, that lowered this just enough for me to not be able to get up there. <laughs> oh, let the record show that I almost did something right. Oh, it doesn't even hit it. Look at that. Look at that. It doesn't even hit it. He did this on purpose. He did this on purpose. He doesn't even hit it. It's to make you think, oh my God, I almost just got wrecked. I almost just got wrecked. Oh. You sneaky one. What is this? What is this all about? What is this all about? I don't know if I did that right, but I might have spaghetti my way into victory. I did that. I did that. Oh, we're good! We're good, cuz- What's happening?! What's happening?! How did that happen? I'm stuck in a launcher! How am I in this? Do I hit this or not? <laughs> I don't even- Did I just get- Wait. Did I get, like, double, triple, reverse psychology troll? Like, is that even- no, I did need to hit it. Okay, okay. I thought for a second that I had mistaken the troll and the troll was that it made me think I was gonna have to hit it. And I actually, in reality, didn't need to hit it. And I like, I just got tied up into like a giant mental knot. <laughs> this is the 
point the troll levels have gotten to. I'm second guessing myself too much. Even when I beat the troll, I don't think I beat the troll. This is what we want. Okay, I think we actually are good right now. But I don't understand how to not die to this. I think that was it. Okay, we just have to go up the right side right there. Oh, protect me, box of glory. Protect me. I'm very scared. Do I want that? I don't know. We're going in the pipe. Down we go. I see a checkpoint. Come on, man! Come on! What was that? No star! <laughs> yes, mushroom! And then it slides off screen to no star. Come on, dude. What does that even mean? You know what? That actually just gives me an idea for my own troll level. Hold on. I'm taking notes. I'm taking notes for my own troll level. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm taking notes. Good artist copy. Great artist steal. It's about riffing on something. All right. <laughs> Most good ideas are just iterations of previous good ideas. Or previous bad ideas that you made good. A lot of times there's a setup that's not, that's like, it had a good idea, but then it did it, it executed it wrong. Okay, um, I don't know how to actually not dummy this, so we're gonna just... Okay, I think we wait for the star to wear off. Wow, so the ducking, or the, the like, somersaulting, whatever, flipping animation actually changes your hitbox. That's interesting, and now I won't go up here. Yeah, that is actually really cool. Heck yeah, CP2, right? Oh! Oh, come on! Wait, what? How do you do this? This is another one of those, how do you, how do you, how do these people upload these, these levels? His dummy time misspelled, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Always shiny. Always shiny. <laughs> You can't take away my shinies! Look, if we collect the shinies in the end, do we really lose? Maybe you've just been misled into thinking that the axe is the way to win. The axe, the checkpoints, the end of the level, the streak, the series, the points, all of it, it's all lies! They're just trying to convince you how to beat levels. Don't let Nintendo tell you how to play their levels. The shinies are the real way to play the level. If you get no shinies, you get no glory. Is there re is it is it even worth playing if you don't get the shinies? I say no. I say no. Stay woke. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna reconsider my life. Did I just do it right? Did I do this right? No, I did not. <laughs> no, I did not. No, I did not. <laughs> oh, there was a flower, yeah. <gasps> okay, I think this is what we want. And then we wait for this to come back. Hit that, now we can get through here. Now we have fear flavor. Now we can do this. All of that was a setup to bait me into getting scared and using my tail? Are you kidding me? Also, how do I take damage? Okay. Gosh, when the spike ball fell, I got scared and I so I used the tail attack. And that was exactly what the level creator wanted me to do. That was exactly what they wanted to do. Join the anti-objective movement against big objective. Trying to convince us that checkpoints, flagpoles, and axes are superior alternatives to shinies. We will consume their lies no longer. Preach! Stay woke. Wake up, sheeple. I think I just sit here. Maybe I'll, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I don't, I'm not doing. We made a mistake. Mistakes were almost certainly definitely made. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we're good now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Trust the creator.
Ah. Ah. <laughs> I think we leave the spring in there. We literally leave the spring in there. <laughs> and then, yup. And then we use that spring to sprangle it to victory. I like how this gave you a hint for what to do for that part. That's pretty nice. Oh, jeez. I almost fell down there and I'm glad I didn't. Uh, are we okay right now? Oh, okay. Wait! Oh god, I just looked in front of me! No! No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! Okay. We're fucked. Wait, why did I just... Okay, I was like... It can't be a soft lock. <laughs> What's happening right now? What's happening right now? Hold on, wait. There is there is an alternate troll reality where this is the actual way to get out of here. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> oh, come on! I thought that we were actually fine and it was gonna hit me and it could actually be the way out. <laughs> I feel like this level is doing a really good job of taking stuff that we've come to expect in troll levels, like the setup. Hold on, wait, I need to, hold on, wait, I need to brain power this for a second. How do I... Oh, yeah, 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 get out, get out, get out. Okay, okay. Like, the setup of being stuck in a one-tile gap while you've collected a power-up is such a troll staple, and I really like... I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. No, why? What? Wilfred, no. Wilfred, no. Also, hello, friend. Look at that. Look at that friendly photo room. <laughs> how does that setup work? How does that setup work? I don't understand how they, he can send something like the ice block down on a track at a very specific time every time. I feel like it's based off of the, um, the on and off blocks, but I don't, I still don't, like, and there there are on and off, uh, like, paths for stuff to move on, but where the item is on that path might be different from what time you hit the block. So I don't understand how it's, is it the screen scroll? I don't understand how, um, it's set up like that. So in this case, it's something that falls from a track because the ice block that hits you falls through the ground, like it goes through the wall, and in order for somebody to go through the ground, it has to come from a track. It won't matter where in the track it is. Okay. Wouldn't it wouldn't it affect the timing though? Make two contraptions that are activated the exact same time always. Like via on or off screen. Oh, so so it could be one that's like scrolls onto screen via screen scrolling. Okay, Supplectic, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm talking about the um the ice block that falls. The ice block that falls and hits the potaboo right here. I don't know how it lines up with the potaboo. Okay, I'm pretty sure we just run off the edge, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy. What's this? What's this? <laughs> I hate you, Wilfred. I hate this game. I hate you, Shigeru Miyamoto. Okay, I think I jump without pressing run, and that's the way to get through this. Because then I didn't pick up the spring at all. Oh jeez, there's so many shinies. I WANT THEM ALL! GIVE THEM ALL TO ME! Did something happen there? Oh, this got stuck because of my shiny acquisition tendencies. Do I need the clown car? Probably yes. We get in my clown car! And fly away to victory. I don't know if I should be here. Uh, oh! What was that pipe set up? Come on, what was that five set up? Come on, come on, it really was a CP1. <sighs> that was not a fake CP1 poop shoot. That was a 100% legitimate CP1 poop shoot. Wait, I'm here with a fire flower. Hold on, this could do something different. All right, is this a real, is this a real CP1? Are we benevolent level creator or malevolent level creator right now? I feel like malevolent. I'm still 
Big, I'm still big boy Mario. Wait. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? How am I here? What's happening? What CP am I at? <laughs> Wait, what CP am I? It was different. Was it this setup? This contraption right here? Oh my god, that's so brilliant because when people have a when people have a launcher surrounded door and it is and all you do is go in the door it's so obvious that it's going to be a different door another time you come there but because of this fireball setup it looks like the setup it looks like the troll is the fireball and how to get in the door and it distracts you from thinking that it could be an alternate door that you go in a different time you come there that's, I just, I really love it when troll creators build multiple trolls on top of themselves because it looks like that setup is to kill you for not staying, staying to the right and being a brave boy and going in the door. Wait a minute. Okay, now yeah, we're actually, we're actually CP1 right now though. So I think we have to do this again and then come back with the, I think it's a progressive power-up setup, maybe? Yeah, I think it would only work if we had the, uh... Fire flower. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have to get CP1 right here, though? I do. You have to get CP1. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. This is another one of those, like, how does the level crater? <laughs> the, the shaking clown car, like, with the, with the, like, lewd anime face is just my favorite. I love the clown car so much. It's so funny because when, when Mario Maker first came out with the, like one of its original patches, it introduced more clown cars, and I'm like, who would ever want more clown cars? And now I love clown cars because they're so janky that they're, and they're so glitched and broken that they let you do so much stuff. Also, is that bad for me? That might be bad for me. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's why that says Fire Flower right there. That's a hint! That's a hint! That's why it has a fire flower right there. No, oh, no, I think we might be bonezilla would If that's different, I can't even tell. <sighs> no, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> All right, benevolent level creator. At least they let me get out even when I got hit like a spaghetti monster. That was awesome. That had tons of great setups. I had lots of um, I had lots of fresh takes on the troll meta. I really like that level. That was a really good level. Man, Wilfred is awesome. I gotta do more Wilfred levels. Non-suspicious setup four by Wilfred. Ah yes, this is a very non-suspicious looking setup. Wait, what? What is happening? Whoa! I don't know what's going on in there, but I want in. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> what the hell is that monstrosity? <laughs> I feel like I need to put a lewd tag on this video. <laughs> How do I win? Duck? Oh, there's a pipe in there? Uh-oh, I hope I didn't spoil anything. I hope I didn't spoil anything by playing this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I really hope I didn't spoil anything by playing this. Oh my gosh, what's going on? That was amazing. Why not put that in a level? That was amazing. <laughs> ah! I just almost died. 
Holy crap, that was amazing. What would you spoil? I was worried that, that was something he meant to put in a real troll level, but apparently Wilfred doesn't put any of these. These are like extras. He doesn't put these in his troll levels. That was hilarious. Non-suspicious setup four. Wilfred is the master of jank. I want to see his other non-suspicious setups real quick. Non-suspicious setup number three. Let's see how non-suspicious this setup is. Oh, they, they use way too many sprites. Okay, okay. This is completely non-suspicious. <laughs> Nothing is suspicious about this. <laughs> oh my God, dude, this is so good. These are so good. <laughs> oh my god. How is this the stuff that doesn't make it into his levels? Good lord, that's amazing. <laughs> Completely non-suspicious setup. See, 10 second clear rate. There's some way to do it without going into that. It's not very anticipated sequels here. I don't see anything suspicious about this. Huh. So then I have to go hit that other P-switch, I think. Okay, so far, so good. Now we hit the other P-switch. I think that'll boop that muncher up and hit the P-switch. Okay. Things are now moderately suspicious. Suspicions are rising. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. They're all they're all rooting for me. <laughs> I love these levels so much. <laughs> God, that's so good. Are we not done yet? Oh, that's the end. <laughs> How in the world does he upload these? Oh my God. That was a hilarious setup. These are so good. These are so good. Oh God. My cheeks hurt. Here's a thing you can do if you want. All right, let's see what this non-suspicious setup. The one that started it all. He has God level imagination. I agree. How are these the setups that don't make the cut? I think they're, Chenna, someone was saying that they require way too many sprites. So you just like, you run out of sprites and can't make a level. <laughs> Oh shit. It was so it was so non-suspicious I forgot to play the game. God that one was so good. These are all so good. Alright. I see nothing suspicious about these 75 overlapping vines. <laughs> and now we ride the CP1 Express. Oh my god, how do you do that? How do you do that? Holy moly. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is amazing. These are so good. Wilfred loves his trains. I love my trains. Alright, alright, well. I might have to I might have to take some notes for this one for my troll level as well. That was amazing. Also four second cleared, right? So there are four second world record. So there's some way to 
get through it. Man, that's amazing. All right, Wilf Wilfred is the troll god. I'm already using my own non-suspicious setup for level. Look, we can, there's plenty of non-suspicious setups to go around. <laughs> oh, use one exactly. Yeah, no stealing, all right? If you take something from someone else's level, you have to make it better. You have to put your own flavor and spin on it. No stealing setups, don't do it. Which plants uh, are the most effective to grow, I guess, proteins or vaccines or these pharmaceutical materials in? Yeah, um, people have studied dozens and dozens and dozens of different types of plants, and a lot of them have different trade-offs. So some might be better in some circumstances or for certain vaccines or products, and other plants may be better for other ones. Um, one of the main ones that is really gaining a lot of traction in recent years is a relative of tobacco. Um, it's called Nicotiana benthamiana, and I'm sorry, I don't think it has a common name, so it just has that, that really long scientific name. A lot of people will actually just refer to it as tobacco, but it's actually not tobacco. Um, but it's not used like, it has nothing really to do with tobacco or any relation to that. It's really just used because it's very easy to grow and it has humongous leaves, so it grows a lot of biomass really fast. Uh, if you look at a picture of the plant, though, the leaves are the leaves are huge. They grow really fast, and they're also um, very easy to genetically modify. Um, and that has to do with one of the ways that um, people commonly make both transgenic plants and also just try to produce products and plants in general. So there is this really fascinating microorganism called Agrobacterium tumefaciens. So it's a bacteria that um, naturally developed a way to transfer genes to plants. Um, so in nature, it will infect different plant species. So it has a small region of a uh, small piece of DNA called a plasmid that it carries around with it. Yeah, and on this plasmid um, is a particular sequence that it will uh, pretty much attach to the surface of a plant cell and inject that sequence of DNA into the plants. Um, it does this naturally to make the plant produce a tumor. They're called crown gall tumors. Um, and the bacteria will then basically feed off of that tumor. Well, some researchers in, I think the 70s or the 80s, figured out that you could take that plasmid and modify it so that those genes that the agrobacterium transfers to the plants can be literally anything that you want. Um, people in biotechnology for a long time now have learned ways of genetically manipulating plasmids that are very fast and very easy. And so by doing this and manipulating the agrobacterium, you can simply inject some of this agrobacterium solution containing these agrobacterium that you've modified into almost any plant species in existence and it'll and the agrobacterium will be a gene delivery vehicle for you and it'll put those genes in the plant. Um, you can, yeah, it's really cool. So you can do that to create transgenic plants. Um, if you, if you like get plants that have had their um, like germline modified and then they can make seeds and those seeds will be transgenic. Or you can actually just do it, um, we call it, I call it transient expression. I'm trying not to use science terms, but it basically makes the, yeah, it makes the plants use, um, or it makes the plants produce any gene that you want on a scale of a few days. So you could grow up completely normal plants, you dunk them in a solution of this agrobacterium, and then five days later, the plants are completely full of any biopharmaceutical vaccine therapeutic protein that you want. Um, so again, that's called transient expression, and that is actually really, really taken off in the last 10 years, and is, is very promising. Uh, because this this bacterial solution that you dunk them in is incredibly cheap and the bacteria basically just swim around transferring genes and they're not they're not harmful to us they're completely like if you just scooped some soil up outside you would get agrobacterium in it they're not pathogenic to humans they don't transfer DNA to humans and they don't harm humans um, and they don't harm the plants really very much either so it's just very fast it's very cheap it's very convenient so getting back to the point about like which plant species to use um that that bacteria works with almost with lots of them so a lot of them are good but um so this nicotiana benthamiana is often used because it has really big leaves and grows really fast and then you could just dunk them in this solution and then get whatever protein you want but there are some really cool advantages to other things too like um for example if you use this if you use nicotiana benthamiana you pretty much have to um, purify the proteins out of the plant 
Like you can't eat that plant, for instance. However, if you were to try to make something that were edible, like for instance, a vaccine that for a virus that would normally infect your gut or your stomach, you might, some people have taken edible plants, made the vaccine in them, and then you just simply eat that plant. And yeah, and that has a lot of advantages because then you don't have to process it at all. Like talk about a cheap vaccine for the cost of growing, you know, one head of lettuce or something, you could make a, va a dose of a vaccine, which is, you know, penny, literally pennies. So that has, that has clear advantages for, especially for areas of the world um, that don't have as much money to spend on a lot of these more complicated or expensive processes for making vaccines or treatments. So I was gonna throw you one more quick example. Um, there are a lot of vaccines that may, um, that could be useful for like uh, stockpiling a therapeutic in the seeds of a plant. So you can actually target the genes that are being made to any part of the plant, really. So you can make it in the roots, you can make it in the leaves, and you can even make it in the seeds. And so um, it's possible to make certain treatments that would accumulate in the seeds of plants, and then you could store those seeds, or maybe they, it would be better protected if it's in the seed, and just things like that. So all these different things are out there, people have done them, and they all have their own positives and negatives, depending on which plant species you use and exactly what thing you're trying to make. X equals nine. Science Yoshi's racing the clock, and it ain't no joke. Let's fucking go, go, 